what is up everybody welcome back to the eclectic beard so this go around we're reacting to one of my favorite perverts i think i've ever seen on tv uh <clears throat> benny hill <laughs> bo peep nursery rhyme interpretations uh just <laughs> always got scantily clad women in his stuff and always to uh well well done effect for the most part so let's take and see uh what kind of scantily clad women he might have on this one so Children watered in comfortably, then let's begin. Breasticles. She has breasticles. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. There, children, that's a nursery rhyme. You're not going to learn anything with her as a teacher. I'm just saying. I mean, you, you look and you see the glasses, you see the hair, then you see boobs. And that's mainly what you see is boobs. It's a story and it could, of course, be told in many other ways. Uh -oh. Good evening. Now, I want you, if you will, to cast your minds back to last February the 31st. <laughs> Somewhere in this area here several sheep were stolen now one of the gang was seen making his getaway in a stolen car which he drove the wrong way up a one-way street and he tried to squeeze between two oncoming juggernaut lorries so do be on the lookout for a tall thin cortina now i want you to look at this jumper here because the police have a theory that some of the sheep have already been shorn and their wool made up into these jumpers, which is produced by the Lubtish Group of Switzerland. So if you are out anywhere and uh, you see a girl that you don't know very well and you see her wearing one of these, just go up and do look inside for that <laughs> label. Uh, if you see that label... <laughs> it's just a thing to do right there. Let me see what kind of, ooh, nipple. In there, what you must do is to limp along to your nearest phone box and get it immediately to Inspector's Blackhead and Boy, Red Pimple Lane. Act. <laughs> Red Pimple Lane. Act. Do we have pepper? Yeah, we have lost my sheep. Where's the sheep in here? We must look for the sheep. Yeah, we must look for the sheep. Yeah. Oh, guck mal. Beginning raining. Okay. Guck mal, beginning raining. Oh. We can now look for the sheep in the raining. Oh. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> oh, hell. Made shows like this day, the feminists would throw a fucking hissy fit. What can we do in the rhyming? <laughs> For the yurkin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good, yurkin. Oh. <laughs> To do ya, and you hope it is a new to beat a nookie. Another better nookie, <laughs> bro. Oh, it's shameless. I love this. Come on, Ine. Ah, 
Ik look for my sister. Du sister? Ja, bu Peppa. Oh, bu Peppa mit de blonde Haare en de grote brusti. Ja. In de vrije nikke. Okay. Nick, ding, nick, ding, oh, nick, ding. We must look for the sheep. Ja, we must look for the sheep. Ja. Mm. Oh, guck maar. We gaan rein in. Nee. Ja, rein. Nee. Rein komt soon. Oh. En wanneer rein komt, we kunnen look for the sheep in de rein in. Ja. Voor de jurkin. Doe je hier? Ja. Is je? Ja, ja is je? Ja. Oh. <laughs> I love all the different referencing to, to, to this they've got the sex. Knocking at the door, yeah. Oh, mere pretty knockers. <laughs> Kom maar in. Uh, Why am I mother of Bo Peppen? Du bist die mother of Bo Peppen. In die Sisten. Ja, ja. Du hast die Sheepen. Ja, du hast die Sheepen, ja. Wir müssen looking for die Sheepen. Ja, wir müssen looking for die Sheepen. Ja. Oh, beginnen zu rennen. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting more than he bargained for now. Look at the in the rain. No, begin in the rain. Yeah, we can't look him for the sheep and in the rain. <laughs> yeah, we can't look him for the sheep and in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> no, Foldy. <laughs> the 2,000 sheep missing since yesterday have so far not been found. Nathan Wide reports. Good evening. Ocklemore. Yesterday, the home of some 2,000 sheep. Today, a barren wasteland. The owner of the sheep, Miss Peep, is back. As indeed are the local police, who have not ruled out foul play. <laughs> For the past 17 hours, two men, uh, one of them, the local switchboard attendant, the other, uh, the shepherd, who was in charge of them, have been helping the police with their inquiries. No, well, you see, he said to me, he said... Ivor Toggle. Two thousand sheep, you see. Well, I thought he said two thousand and sheep. You see, that that's two thousand and two sheep. You see, that's what I thought he said. Two thousand sheep. Two thousand and two sheep. <laughs> she, she's Billy. A Tilly Todd she is. A Tilly Todd works on stains. <laughs> Not go. Tilly Todd. Yes. <laughs> no, these definitely stole, sir. There's no doubt about that. I mean, they couldn't all have gone in the bog. There ain't room for all them sheep, sir. We've had a search party out, hey? and like you say, my, my, my sons, my seven sons, and my. Six daughters are all joined in the search party to do their best, like you see, because not only did they get away with all them sheep, sir, but they also got away with the sheep virility pills, you see. That's to, like, make the sheep more, uh, give them a bit of, you know, <laughs> being delicate, sir. I'm sorry about that, sir. I mean, it's like aphrodisiacal, see, they are, sir. And the thing is, if you find them, do get in touch with us right away. They're a sort of, like, about the size of a hasprin, and they're yellow. So, oh, and they taste of peppermint. <laughs> a little bit too intimate of knowledge of what those pills look and taste like. The second I found out them sheep was missing, I phoned up PC Potts. And where was he? Where he always is, out the back, sitting on his big back. <laughs> Facing results. Either that or he's on with that barmaid. The one with the big... <laughs> Because he reckons he's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I said, You wanna watch out? I said, You'll be putting her in the. <laughs> and her old man 
to find out about that. You come along and cut off your... <laughs> I'll tell you something. I was walking across the meadow the other day, across the back of the meadow, and I suddenly had an urgent desire to have... <laughs> I goes along and I find this ditch and I stand there and I start <laughs> all over feces spots. <laughs> he looks up, he says, <laughs> Stud. He says, he says, I said, yeah, hold on. I said, I got a lady up here. Bro, this is the longest running thing off of Bo, Bo Peep and her sheep I've ever fucking seen. I promise to God. Here, he says, where do you think I got down here? Then? <laughs> and that's why he's getting on about me and Peep sheep. That's why. That's what that is all about. Here in the West Country, things move quickly these days. And already, the barren sheep land is being taken over by a herd of cows. Nathan Wide, News at 10, Wessex. I have a wondrous tale I would impart, though you may think it is not worth a far thing to. <laughs> The main concern in my tale is one Bo Peep who one day was accounting of her sheep and by the counting of them did she fall asleep. Thus did they depart. One of them a black sheep whose fleece was black as soot and wheresoe'er the black sheep went his sooty footy put. <laughs> the black sheep left the moor as sly as any elf and yet in truth he was as black as any moor himself. One frivolous lamb, a reckless beast, who took to gambling and thus was fleeced. <laughs> so black sheep and more. So you got that. The, the okay. There's one. I oh got and then gambling sheep got fleeced. Bro. And in the style of Shakespeare, no less. Who did? Who did? Who did thunk it? A ram, a horned ram, <laughs> who did his like mistress's that. entreaties spurn and lost himself for trying to make a U-turn. <laughs> One masochistic lamb who threw the stinging nettles hops but stops upon occasion to smack his chops. <laughs> One foolish sheep who near the village frolics. <laughs> I'm able to take, keep a straight face on these performers, I swear. It looks like he, he's wanting his best to take a laugh along, but... A shepherd caught him by the home for alcoholics. <laughs> One queer sheep who, although sad, was gay. And when air approached, would turn the other way. His wool is spun into a yarn so thin, but not as thin as this yarn which I now spin. Her father counselled her, pay them no mind, they will return, a bringing of their tails behind. But as the smallest of these lambs who sat upon the icy ground did cry in voice so bold, so do I say to you, my tale is told. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Just helping the commissioner sort out a box of strawberries. Yeah. Who's his beef here? It's all right now then. What can I do for you, madam? Could you speak up a little, please? Is something distressing you? Oh, well, your husband can help me. Yeah. What seems to be the trouble, sir? Your daughter. Chief, I, I think it's serious, Chief. <laughs> oh, how do you spell that? Can't say as I've heard of her. She doesn't have many friends. 
Well, that doesn't surprise me, I must say. Where is this girl the moment she arrives? She's outside in the corridor, Chief. Well, then why don't we have her in? Oh, well, here she is. Evidently in a state of shock. She doesn't seem to be acting in a rational manner. You mean to tell me you think you're acting in a rational manner? I don't want to see this girl. I want to see her now. Get her in. Oh, won't somebody help me, please? I can't believe it. It's like some terrible, frightening dream. It was last Thursday. I was alone in the meadow with my sheep, and this man came by, had wide, staring eyes. Oh, God, they said I hypnotized me. He, he gave me a drink of water, and he tasted kind of strange, and suddenly the whole world was spinning and falling, and all the demons of hell were let loose in my head. I screamed and fell. I must have passed out, because when I came to, all my sheep were gone, and the great meadow was empty. It was horrible, horrible. You want to tell me about it? I just did. So you did. I wasn't listening to you. It seems to me that whoever has the sheep has to spend a lot of time with them, looking after them, tending them, watering them, feeding them. Why don't we have that feller in that we brought in on a 747? But he was just a, a vagrant chief. I want to see him, and I want to see him now, so bring him in. That's him! Hey, hold it, That's hold him! It. Oh, hold no, it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. But, Chief, how did you know it was him? I had my suspicions the minute he told me his name. What's your name again, son? Basil Bass. Chief Ironside. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I want you to know that I'm sorry I doubted your veracity. Oh, I lost that years ago. <laughs> Good evening, Chief Ironside. Luigi, now tell me, what have, uh, what have you got for this young lady here? We have a uh, mutton broth, mm -hmm. sheep's head soup, oh. lamb chops, <laughs> roast lamb, <laughs> and lamb cutlets. <laughs> <laughs> that is the longest thing. In relation to uh, Bo Peep and her missing sheep, I have ever seen. Uh, kind of disjointed, but there's some funniness to it, that's for sure. Definitely uh, the very beginning of it with the uh, bustiness. Definitely what uh, I'm used to seeing from uh, Benny Hill. The rest of it, though, I mean, <laughs> the different ways, the, the different skits within the wider skit, to take and carry it for that long. I'm impressed. I mean, shoot. I'm lucky if I can get something, you know, my little skit's going for more than two minutes. So, 14. Of course, I'm nowhere near that kind of level, unfortunately. It's definitely different. I like portions of it. I didn't like the whole thing. But, it is what it is. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.